Well, welcome, friends. It's Saturday morning here on the West Coast, 10.08 p.m., and I've just got a little bit of time to try, anyway, for a full flight video from Morgantown, West Virginia to Columbus, Ohio. I know I had said Kentucky, but I was looking at the map, and I think it just makes more sense to uh, avoid unnecessary east-west crisscrossing to uh, hit Ohio first, and um, then maybe even Michigan, and then south to Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and then from there on out to the west. But I, I think it made a little more sense. So let's uh, get going. I am so wiped out. Oh my God, I had a huge run this morning. It's hot here. 84 degrees outside at 10 o'clock in the morning. All right, let's get going. It's not 84 degrees here though in Morgantown. It's 39 degrees and cloudy and 41 degrees and cloudy in Columbus. So I'm kind of wishing I was there right now. Let's get started. Hold on, I've got to close my door to my study. My kids are screaming. All right, let's go. Let's get started. Assuming the sim doesn't freeze, that's always a big assumption. My goodness, I gotta get my fan up in here, it's hot. Okay, zoom type manual. All right, let's fire up our girl, huh? Morgantown ground, Cessna November 343 Bravo, started. whiskey IFR, to rig ready to copy. Cessna November 343 Bravo, whiskey is cleared to rig airport as filed. Rick and Bacher. Take off runway 36, climb and maintain 12,000 feet. 12,000. Departure frequency is 121.15 squawk 0436. Okay, 12,000. Good. Yes. Rick Airport, Take I like how they're calling it that. Okay, APU's going. Fuel valve's open. Grab source, GPS. Cycle through this just to try to avoid freeze-ups later. Parking brakes are released already, so we can get pushed back. PFT settings, wind option two. So this is an interesting approach we're doing today. It's into our nav runway two three left via the Bremen six star. But there is an ILS frequency. We're not going to fly the ILS approach, but I'm still going to make use of the ILS, assuming it doesn't drop the desktop or freeze, which is. A dangerous assumption. Speed bugs. VR one four zero. VY one nine five. And VAP one three five. Hold on. Okay, we got our right engine up and running. Left now. Morgantown ground. Cessna November three four three Bravo whiskey requesting the end of pushback. Let's go outside real quick. Oh, let's calibrate our altimeter. 299 or 6. Good. Get our taxi light on. Flaps. Fix that camera. All right, let's go. Head off to Columbus. Zoom in on our MFD. People static. Engines are just about there. 58.9 on two. Almost there on one. Got 538 gallons on board. More than enough for me and my dog. Okay, we'll uh, turn off the APU. Let's go. Cross our fingers, hopefully we don't get a freeze. I got a lot going on today in addition to having gotten up at 4.30 and done a 10 mile run in the canyons around my house. All right, let's go. So we gotta get to Columbus.
Looks like we're going to have a little um, game of chicken with a uh, vehicle. It's, for whatever reason, here on the taxiway. We're going to slice them right in half. By the way, you'll notice... There he goes. I um, changed our parking space to an area that was not down this alley where they put us yesterday. A little unclear as to why that happened. Anyway, we're good to go now, and here we're just damn near at our uh, at our runway. So let's head off to Columbus, and hopefully the sim cooperates, doesn't freeze on us. I'm sorry, I'm eating. I'm so hungry. Hopefully it doesn't freeze on us. I really hope it doesn't freeze on us. It's so dispiriting. All right. Okay. Here we go. Looks a little too green to me. This looks like uh, summer colors, but like I said previous video they don't have uh, fall textures yet this winter and summer <laughs> look how they eat. pathfinding wants us to go out on the grass it's kind of funny right out of the west Clear for runway. Clear for takeoff. Runway three six zero is key. Okay, let's go. Don't think anybody's on final. Kind of hard to see with all those trees. No, no one's on final. Runway three six to the north. We're taking off in the opposite direction of the runway we landed on yesterday. We landed on one eight yesterday. All right, showtime. Hopefully, it doesn't freeze. I hate the uncertainty. Okay, we're going to assign sink our heading bug. Fly runway heading initially after takeoff, and we'll start our timer. Okay, let's go. We do our flaps, notch one. We're rolling, airspeed's alive. Stiff wind from our left, about nine o'clock, 13 knots. Whoa, mackerel. And rotate. Really felt that wind. Okay, positive rate. Gear up. Autopilot. Switch over to nav now. Stable climb out. Set two zero zero. Going to one two one decimal one five Cessna. Train those flaps. Clarksburg departure Cessna November three four three Bravo whiskey is passing two thousand six hundred feet, climbing twelve thousand feet. Cessna November three four three Bravo whiskey Clarksburg departure altimeter two nine or decimal nine or six continue to alpha in the Romeo is planned. Okay, we're headed in these clouds, and the outside air temperature is minus five, so expect icing. Get our airspeed up to 210. There's the ice. Okay, got that under control quickly enough. It's a quick flight, assuming it works.
Okay, we're coming up out on top. Let's get our speed up. Is that 230? Yeah, we're up above the up above the weather. Twenty-six ninety-five through whiskey eating. Going to one two six decimal nine or five Cessna three Bravo whiskey. Cleveland Center it's Cessna three Bravo whiskey at nine thousand six hundred climbing at twelve thousand. Cleveland Center Cessna November three four three Bravo whiskey is passing nine thousand eight hundred feet climbing twelve thousand feet. Air shuttle six zero six two contact Washington Center on one two. Busy skies. Busy skies. Let's get our speed up. We're above 10,000 now. We'll go up to 280. Lots of planes in the sky. There's the ITT alarm. No patches yet since SU6, so that's still an issue. We'll climb up to 220 through Oski. Flight uh, level 280 is what we're expecting. Generic one Romeo Alpha contact Washington Center on 128 decimal six. Good day. Okay, we got 220 set. The altitude selector right here. I used this knob ALT to set that to 220. Climbing at 3,000 feet, 500 feet per minute. Although there's some rough chop as you can see because the VS. Indicators bouncing around, passing 13,700, 275 knots indicated, GPS, autopilot's engaged, VS 3500, as I mentioned, COM 1, 126.950, that's Cleveland Pro, or Cleveland Center, I think is what they said. Outside air temperature minus 18, true airspeed 339 and climbing, Climb ground speed 285, winds are headed at us, 53 knots out of the uh, west northwest engines are f looking good n2 percent on both 88.0 fuel per hour 874 pounds per hour oil looks good oil temp looks good cabin elk 3300 feet that's great ISAs minus three, I like that. International Standard Atmospheres minus three. Nav one. Okay. Nav one is showing uh, our next GPS waypoint. Nav two, excuse me. Bearing one is set to GPS. Bearing two is set to nav one, which is our GPS frequency. Transition altitude. Let's deal with that. Winds are picking up. 63 knots. Straight at us. But nothing like yesterday. Set 300. Nothing like yesterday with the uh, 123 knot headwind. That I2T alarm. So we're going to, well, I'll keep it. Hmm. All right, we'll shallow our, dis our climb to 3,000 feet from Edward. Leveling off at 22,000 feet if it doesn't freeze on us. I'm going to press the VFR map and hope it doesn't lock up the sim. So we're headed to AIR, A-I-R, waypoint, stand by, up to 280 for whiskey, okay, that's our cruising altitude, we're at 22,000 right now, so by going up to 28,000, that's 6,000 feet, and then we'll level our climb rate to 3,000 feet per minute, 
reduce our climb rate to 3,000 feet. It puts us there in less than two minutes at our cruising altitude. Anyway, as I was saying, headed to air, and then after air, see, here's the approach we're doing into click, and there aren't ever only two, three left. Trying to find our waypoints on this VFR map. Anyway, Vutui, I know at Vutui, that's the last, it's an 11 mile final, so Koyan, we need to be at 2,400 feet. And Zavta, which is what I'm looking for right now. Where is Zavta? Is that it? It's got to be it. It's got to be that one. Zavta is uh, 3,000. So hopefully we don't have a situation like yesterday where um, we get handed off to tower, but then we're unable to contact tower and get landing clearance, which is what happened yesterday. But under normal circumstances, at 28,000 feet, I'd expect our, I'd expect us to receive descent instructions at 93 miles out. Seems pretty aggressive when it comes to initiating descents. So it might be a little earlier than that. We're 121 miles out right now. Switch over to Mach mode. We're at 0.78 right now. I think we can get a little more out of this girl. We're up at the point. Eight one. Okay, we're leveling off at twenty-eight thousand feet. Hopefully, we don't freeze. Activate half bank mode at this altitude. Leveling off twenty-eight thousand feet. FLCs at point eight one zero. Got it about as high as we can go without getting into the barber pole. Going to one, two, eight, ten, four, five, Headwinds for 58 knots coming basically straight at us about 11 o'clock. Definitely slowing us down. Our ground speed's 450 knots. Better than yesterday where our ground speed was like 350 knots. Anyway, that's all about to change as we're making our left turn at AIR VOR. Don't need all this anti-icing equipment right now, but we may as we begin to descend through that. It's not the thickest deck I've ever seen, but there's some clouds we'll have to deal with. Making the left at AIR. As we head for KLCK, Kilo Lima, Charlie Kilo, Rickenbacker in Columbus, Ohio. Hopefully we get there and it doesn't freeze up on us. I definitely have sensed a sense of, I've sensed a sense. That makes a lot of sense. Ah, I've sensed a sense. That makes a lot of sense. Good Lord. Anyway, I'm more... I have a greater feeling of trepidation when it comes to clicking on things or looking out windows unnecessarily or switching views just because I don't want to do anything that provokes it into freezing. Now, mind you, I, I have no empirical knowledge or basis for concluding that that's what's causing it to freeze, but I'm still eager to avoid it, needless to say. Now, we should expect to hear descent instructions momentarily. I mean, we're 102 miles out. We're 28,000 feet. Airport elevation at Rickenbacker is 744. There it is. Okay, we'll descend to 180 through Oski. All right, that's good. The sim's working today. Switch out of mock mode. Set 320 and descend at, for now, 2,000 feet per minute. Maybe a little bit aggressive, but I'd always rather be a little under the glide slope versus trying to chase it down. That's just not ideal. 
approach course is 232, as I think I mentioned. Let's move our heading bug over to that. To 232. I hope this doesn't freeze. I need this flight today. I need it. Still got a 60 knot headwind coming at us. Now it's from our 1 o'clock instead of our 11. Either way. Keep our speed up. 93 miles now out. Passing 26,200. Clouds have built. As we've headed west. Mitar showed broken. Uh, back at Morgantown, but cloudy at Columbus. I still maintain we've gotten very lucky as it relates to weather on these on this adventure. Go ahead and zoom in on their MFD. We're from 20 right now. Let's take it down to 10. I'm going to anticipate potential icing conditions. 86 miles. Keeping our speed way up. But we're at 24,000 feet, so we're more than justified in going or maintaining a 320 knots indicated. Everything's going according to plan so far, which probably means it's about to freeze. Passing over Senecaville Lake. Senecaville Lake. Never heard of it. I'm sure it's quite lovely, though. You really do get a sense of how big this country is, the United States, when you fly it in the sim. You know, we literally just passed over a town just east of Senecaville Lake called Temperanceville. You know, on the off chance... Stand by. Shit, I never completed my descent instructions to go down to 18,000. I stopped rolling down. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, reinitiate our descent. We're okay, we're okay. Go ahead and slow down to 310. 76 miles out now and 22,300 feet. That's perfect. No problem at all. That's just fine. Yeah, I... Okay. Frick. I like that there's a waypoint named Frick. It'd be even funnier if there was a waypoint immediately beyond it named Frack. Anyway, I was rolling down this altitude selector and I, I stopped it before I set it at 18,000. That was my mistake. Temperanceville. On the off chance that anybody watches this video, and of course no one will, I think I've, I'm, I'm, I'm really hitting it out of the park with eight to ten views per video. But if anybody in Temperanceville watches this, let me know uh, what it's like in Temperanceville. Temperanceville. Or what that's like. 70 miles out now and 20,800 feet. We're perfect altitude-wise. Keeping our speed up. Winds are still a factor, even up here. Ground speed's only 370 knots. Let's see if we can eke out a little bit more. Don't want an unnecessarily delayed flight. Basically, I like to go as fast as I can while still safe. You know, I don't want to overspeed the aircraft and we have to abide by the 250 knot restriction of 10,000. But other than that, 
Let's let's hustle. Basically paralleling Interstate 75. Let's transition now to nearest altimeter, 2996. 2996. That's it. 2996, says Betty. Okay, we're leveling out at 18,000. Anyway, we're south of uh, Interstate 75. We'll just send and maintain 10,000 feet. Descend and maintain 10,000 feet Cessna Tree Bravo Whiskey. Okay. Well, things are going very smoothly at this point, which means it's almost certainly about to freeze or crash the desktop or something bad will happen. Coming up on Frick. How far are we from Frick? We are. One minute and 49 seconds. And after Frick, I'm sad to say, is not Frack, but rather Bremen. South of Interstate 75, just south now of the city or town of Zanesville. Zanesville, Ohio. Sixteen thousand four hundred feet now, and uh, fifty-four miles out. So the descent has been very nice on this one in terms of us being where we're supposed to be when we're supposed to be there. Very windy in Columbus if we get there. If it doesn't freeze first. I told you already, it's 41 degrees in Columbus and cloudy. But what I don't think I mentioned, in local time, let's see, it's 1035 here in California, 11, 12, 135. I will be on the ground about 12 minutes, 13 minutes. Anyway, the winds are out of the southwest at 13 miles an hour, gusting to 19. So we're landing on runway 23. So hopefully, that is a sign that we're not going to have much of a crosswind, or uh, at least if we do, it's manageable. We'll find out. 13,700. Time to start slowing us down a little bit. So the 305. Looks like we're getting ready to go back into the soup, so anticipating icing conditions. Finally, a little weather, huh? Twelve thousand seven hundred. Cleared down to ten, descending at two thousand feet per minute. Right there. Okay, we'll slow down to 300. I hate to slow down. I don't want to have to slow down. We'll shallow out our descent rate, by the way. 1,600 feet per minute. I don't want to slow down. You know, I watched the most incredible series of videos by Blanco Lirio, Juan Brown's channel on YouTube. Amazing. About the uh, Pakistani International Airline PIA crash 8303 at Karachi I think it crashed at Karachi and my god I mean I don't claim to be an expert but I take my commitment to air, air to safety aviation safety even in this goofy sim very seriously by the way we're passing 10,600 we're at 280 and continuing to slow now to 250 and what I I don't want to get into too much inside baseball, but when you hear what these guys, I mean, I'm not casting blame, but the indisputable empirical evidence of what these guys did and how this plane, they landed with no gear down after this wild roller coaster ride.
Okay, we're clear to Yusiku. We'll expect Arnav runway 23 left and uh, down to 3000. Zero whiskey. Airspeed looks good. Anyway, I strongly encourage you. These guys were. Oh, somebody got cleared to 23 right. We're cleared to 23 left. Anyway, these guys were like. You know, they were 10 miles out from the airport. They were at 9,000 feet. <laughs> if you watched enough of these videos, and I know no one has, and if you have any even just vague experience with aviation, you know it's a three to one rule. So if you're at 9,000 feet, you should be 30 miles out, or at least AGL. Okay, we're getting ready to dip deck back into the suit. Just 30 miles out now. Now, remember, we're flying the RNAV to runway 23, but I am going to use the ILS. Because if there's one there, use it. Now, I didn't select the ILS approach from the... setup page, just because it was kind of goofy. All right, we got other planes in the area, also headed to the same airport. Got five mile range on our MFD and we're descending now into the clouds. Emirates? Did I hear Emirates landing it? Whoops, I did it again. I forgot to send down to 3000, that's why she said. Anyway, we're 27 miles out and 7,100 feet. That's fine. Descending at 1,500 feet per minute. Now we're in the clouds. Skimming right through them. Do you have ILCM? Take a look. That's bearing two set to nav one. Uh, excuse me, ILCK. Couldn't make it out from that zoomed out position. That's the ILS frequency for runway 23 left, the identifier. Our landing lights on. Oh, I never turned them off. That was my bad. 24 miles, 6,000 feet, shallow out to 1,200 and slow to 210. Anyway, yeah, I can't imagine being 10 miles out and at 9,000 feet and you're in an Airbus A320 and you decide that you're going to... You know, at one point during that approach, they were descending at 7,000 feet per minute. Can you believe that? That crash killed 98 or 99 people. Absolutely disgraceful. They land with no gear, scrape the engines, and then decided to do a go-around. And of course, what do you think happened to the engines when they were scraping along the runway? It wrecked them. So the plane lost power and ended up stalling out. It was terrible, terrible, just terrible. Okay, we're coming up on Zavta. I'm going to left turn at Zavta. Shallow water to center rate even more down to 700 feet per minute. Looks like we're basically below the deck right now. You heard that reference to that other guy who's cleared for 2-3 right. That might be him right there. We're doing 2-3 left. We got a big left turn coming. 20 miles out, 210 knots. Clear down to 3,000 feet at Zavta. Zavta is 47 seconds away. We're at 4,500 feet, descending at 700 feet per minute. So we'll actually increase our descent rate to 1,200 feet per minute to try to get to 3,000 feet Question. at Zavta. TFR ahead. TFR ahead. Hmm. That is. Anyway, uh, yeah, the, the waypoint on this uh, Pakistani thing was Mockley. And uh, that that's where they were supposed to be at 3,000 feet, and they were at 9,000 feet, and yet continued with the approach. Unbelievable. Anyway, we're supposed to be at 3,000 feet at Zavta, and Zavta is now list showing as 92 seconds away. I don't know why the time changed, but we're not going to have any problem being at 3,000 feet at Zavta. Indianapolis Center, American, 
getting ready to make a left turn. Airport should be. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see the rabbits, but there they are. I'm gonna slow now to two zero zero. Landing gear. As we come in here over, we're just um, just east southeast of Columbus proper, where the TFR is over downtown. Okay, hey, as promised, that's the next published approach descent instruction. Descent and maintain 2,400 feet. 2,500 or 500 feet per minute. We're going to switch over to from GPS to nav mode. And you'll see where we'll make a left turn here to intercept. And we'll shallow out our descent rate now. As we close in on 2,400 feet. We're at 2,880. Just descending at a, just a modest 100 feet per minute. There's the ILS Diamond. 13 miles out. We'll slow to 19 or 0. Okay. Here's the turn off half bank mode. That's what we need to... There's the runway. Two, three left, right there. Okay, so we're gonna intercept that glide slope from beneath as planned. Winds are two, one, 21 knots at about one o'clock. So a minor crosswind, not the worst thing I've ever had to deal with. Let's slow to one eight zero and we'll put down our notch of flaps. Hopefully it doesn't freeze on us. Okay, let's zoom in on the MFD. Don't freeze on me, baby. Down to one. Still waiting for the uh, ILS Diamond to uh, creep its way down. I'm sure it's 8.6 miles out. And it is now creeping down. I don't know if you can see this. So we're gonna activate EPPR in anticipation of interception. And well, let's watch together as this uh, as this happens. See this? All right, there's the tower handoff. See this dropping? Watch the white GS turn green. Here we go. Grab it. Bingo. Put our gear down. 257 at 22. Gears down. Slow. Approach speed 135. And full flaps. There's Columbus out there. All right, friends. Let's uh, disconnect our auto throttle. We're all configured and stabilized for landing. Everything looks really good. Don't freeze on me. That's all I ask. Coming up on Butui. Butui is our next waypoint. 1280, according to the published approach plate. We're on the glide slope, though, so everything's great. Speed's good. One, three, six. Okay, and I got the air, the runway. We got two and two on the poppies. That's great. Full flaps, gear down. Wait for the 500 call out. Looks really good. Five hundred. 
autopilot. I have the airplane. A three and one on the poppies. A little correction here. We have a 14 knot headwind. It's 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 basically about one o'clock, so it's definitely manageable. Two and two. Middle marker. One and three. Long run, like 12,000 feet, so no rush. One and three still. Now back to two and two. Two, three left confirmed. Flare. Okay, spoilers are up. Reversals are on. That right aileron down just a bit. All right, friends. Welcome to Rickenbacker, Columbus, Ohio. Very pleasant flight. That just went great. Give me some arrows, darling. Let's see. Um, well, we have an exit coming up. I just couldn't make that first turn. It was too much to ask of me. Spare spoilers in while I'm thinking about it. Don't need those anymore. Where on earth is our next exit? Oh, Jesus. That, I gotta tell you, watch out for that, fellas. If you use your mouse at all. Exit, Honey, I'm working on it. There's You guys didn't put any off-ramps. Good lord. This is the perils of a 12,000 foot long runway. Okay, here's our right exit. When the runway is two miles long, you know, all right, here we go. Anyway, yeah, heads up if you are controlling your mouse. At least this is how it is on my PC. If you're controlling your mouse, you can't control your airplane. 25275 through Rose Geek Day. All right. Well, that was great, friends. We brought our spoilers in already. Let's bring in our flaps. All right, 35 minute flight. Well, that was taxi fun, friends. Ooh, this is a big airport. After all these little places in the sticks that we've been landing at, this is a doozy. Anyway, welcome to Columbus. Make sure nobody's coming. Um, anyway, local time, let's see, 11, 12, 1 51 p.m. And now we're in Ohio in our ongoing 50 state tour. What fun. Now, I met that yesterday, right? I offered that commentary on my flight into Morgantown. I don't know, I, I know I pitched a fit about walking away from the sim, but you know what? I think if you're lucky enough in life to find something that makes you happy, you're crazy to walk away from it. Even if it can't or won't or doesn't give you everything you want. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and park. Uh, God knows how long we're... I mean, the airport's big, but it's not that big. At least we're not going to have to taxi, way, taxi down some alley like yesterday. I'm doing 37 knots. <laughs> Good lord. I'm sorry, but I want to park. Well. Good grief. Where is our parking space? You know, I, I kind of miss the old setting where it would show you where you were headed and how far it was. Oh, there's our parking space. I got it now. Right there. Okay. That was kind of cool, but I guess I can see why they uh, got rid of it, just because, or maybe they didn't get rid of it, but I don't see it anymore, that's all I know. Just because it's not very realistic, you know? Woohoo! 
we don't have to taxi down an alley and destroy a bunch of uh, planes. All right, this was fantastic. What a fun little full flight. For me, anyway. No one will watch it, but I like it. I figure these will be watchable by... They want me to watch out for that car, but I'm going to ignore them. Okay. Okay. Oh, and they got a nice... I got a nice stripe to follow. Kill our taxi light. I'm following this right here. But I'm also looking out the window. Okay, friends. Right engine. Parking brake. And no freezes. Woohoo! Look outside. Oh! Oh, God, we're only, what, maybe an inch, a couple of inches, six inches maybe off the tee. That was great. This was fun. Oh, my, how I love this game when it works. Yeah, I'm not going to turn my back on it, even if it makes me sad on occasion. Hey, and look at this. Can you see this? Look at our total hours on the longitude. 296.9. We're almost to 300 hours in the longitude. Okay, friends, uh, let's um, kill our remaining lights. Turn off our pedostatic and our anti-icing equipment. And that's enough, right? Yeah, that's enough. And then we'll kill our left engine and drop the logbook screen. There it is, KMGW, Morgantown, West Virginia, to KLCK, Rickenbacker Field in uh, Columbus, Ohio, for a wonderful 32-minute, eight-second flight Welcome to Ohio. Next, I believe, we'll go north to Michigan and then uh, on from there. But anyway, thanks for joining us. Hope everybody's doing well.